guys, happy Vlogmas Day 15! Love my eye patches in the morning. I've got you guys on a pillow right now. Um, today's the last day of Vlogmas. I am so sad because I, I almost didn't do Vlogmas this year. And so many of you seem so upset about it and sad. And I kind of like backtracked and thought about it. And it was just like, I want to do Vlogmas, but only while I'm in New York City. Just because there's so much I want to do here. And I did want to share it with you guys. It's just when I go home, I don't know. It's just different. And I really want to just enjoy my time at home. And I'm still going to vlog. It's just not going to be every day. Um, and so I'm going home this Saturday. And so I thought just 15 days of Vlogmas would be fun. Um, I'm in a weird mood today. And I'm sad about it because I was like, oh, it's my last day of Vlogmas. I want to make it like so festive, so fun. And I just woke up just in a weird mood and I don't know why. Um, it's 12 o'clock already now. I have spent the morning working on the Vlogmas thumbnail, updating the, or uploading the Vlogmas. I put on Polar Express this morning because I thought maybe it would give me some good vibes and it did a little bit. I also haven't had coffee yet because I was feeling a little anxious and sometimes I don't like to have coffee right away when I do that. Today we just have like a ton of random things to do. I'm about to have a call with my manager. I have a pile of stuff in the corner of my bedroom that I've just been hiding from you guys to make my living room look cleaner. I'm exposing myself. It's just my suitcase that's not unpacked from Thanksgiving, a ton of sweatpants, honestly, sweaters, just a ton of chunky stuff that I didn't feel like putting back in my closet after I wore them. And today is the day I just need to tackle that. Um, I also need to go pick up a gift card for someone that I'm giving tomorrow, um, which will be nice, it's in Tribeca, so I kind of wanna like make that a nice walk. I have some content to film today. Um, Brooke's taking me to a Hoka event tonight, Hoka sneakers. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the only way to get out of this like weird rut and mood is to get up and to shower and to listen to Christmas music and to honestly have a cup of coffee and I have 14 minutes until I have this call with my manager. So I think I'm gonna try and just do this all right now because it's so easy. I could just like lay on my couch for the next, you know, 14 minutes and be like, oh, like I have so much to do today, but I'm just gonna sit here and do nothing. And I was just scrolling on my phone and it's just such a bad habit. And so it is so crazy. Like once you get up, it's all good. I think I'm just overwhelmed. There's a lot I need to do before I go home. And I like to leave my apartment like, Dishwashers running, apartments cleaned, shades are down, you know, everything's unplugged. Like, I like to leave with a very clean space so that I arrive back in peace. And it's just not in that state right now. <laughs> so, yeah. But if that's my problem today, I'm so okay with it and thankful for that. But I want to turn this day around. I'm just sleepy. I think it is time for me to have some coffee. Just took my eye patches off. That's when you know it's time to start the day. I did get some Christmas shopping, though done this morning on my computer um so i'm happy about that but anyways let's turn this day around come on play michael buble christmas playing christmas deluxe special edition by michael buble from spotify Johnny Mathis Christmas music hits diff. I listened to Michael Bublé while I showered and then while I was doing my skincare, little Johnny Mathis moment. Um, and I just had my call, it's really nice. Um, we're gonna do a little, I'm gonna attempt to do no makeup makeup because I always will be like, oh, I'm just gonna put on concealer and then I do a full face, but we're gonna really try. So let's like, I'm just gonna like try products and we're just gonna try this. All right, so I already have like my moisturizer and everything as you guys saw. I'm gonna use this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. Um, usually I use the Rare Beauty one, but I did just get this and I want to use it. Primer is truly everything. 
All right, so to achieve this no makeup makeup look, I don't think the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is the way to go. So I'm gonna use, even though it does look really light, it's more heavy and I wanna be different today. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation. See, here I am doing full face. Like I was literally just gonna do a little concealer, but I mean, this is a lighter. I'll just use a beauty blender to kind of blend it out, but it's super light. Yeah, I feel like you can barely tell. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Kosas Revealer Concealer. Instead of doing what I normally do, like the big triangle, I'm gonna do what they show on like TikTok, the inner corners and just right outside. I'm gonna use my fingers too, to really just use the heat of my fingers and blend. Okay, so I feel like for no makeup makeup looks, people don't usually use powder, but I'm just gonna use a little powder on the bottom and then my forehead and my nose, but not like on my cheekbones to keep the glow. And then we're gonna attempt to use cream blush. This is from Rare Beauty. It's in the color Nearly Mauve. Mauve? Ah. Oh my goodness. It looks so inviting. So I don't know, I'll try it. Put it on like the top of my cheekbones. I'm actually pretty happy with this. Brows will go with the um, Patrick Ta Shaping Wax. It's clear. You gotta spray it with like setting spray to activate it. This stuff is awesome. I need to get my brows done though, honestly. Should I like do the whole brush up look? Should I try and be trendy like that? I'm scared. I don't know if I'm just not doing it right. She brushes it up. <laughs> I think my brows aren't long enough to do the brush up look right now. I just trimmed them recently. I don't have cream highlight with me now, so I'll just use the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I feel like when I think of no makeup makeup looks, I think of everything cream-based products. I'm gonna spray my face. This is Ellie's um, 19 and a half like makeup line. Oh, where's the spray? And then I am gonna put on a little mascara because I haven't gotten a lash lift and tint in forever. Just like on the outskirts. Pff, on the outskirts. The fact that my YouTube channel used to be called The Makeup by Danielle is so nuts to me. I'm so not good at makeup. <laughs> and then I still have to brush my teeth, but for effect, I'm gonna put on a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Hello Talk. How did I do? Does it look like I literally didn't put any makeup on at all? Because yay. <laughs> Let's layer together. It's like 50 degrees outside, but I'm learning 50 degrees in New York City is a lot different than 50 degrees in like Florida or Georgia when I lived there. It's not as sunny anymore, so it is still pretty cold. I'm gonna wear this coat that I got from Mango. I love it. Shout out Kenzie Elizabeth. She had it and I bought it. I just was looking for that perfect coat that um, belts and wraps. Oh, I love it with the little white turtleneck underneath. The white turtleneck is from Zappos, but it's um, Free People brand. And I'm just wearing a gold day jeans. You can't really see them, honestly, but it's kind of a vibe. And then for sunglasses, I'm thinking these from Lay Spec. Lay Specs. Oh, we need earrings. Hold on. We will do these earrings from Argento Vivo. I'm literally so excited to get outside and just go for a walk. I'm about to go for a 35 minute walk to get this gift card, but I'm excited about it. And as for shoes, I'm thinking just to go with my Air Force Ones to match the white with the white. I always like the outfit to tie in somehow. Uh, and I'm gonna be walking a lot and I know those are comfortable. As for a bag, I don't know yet. I might do a tote bag just cause I've got a lot of stuff I need to bring and get, but we shall see. Thanks for building this outfit with me. I was just doing a couple more things in my apartment, ran the dishwasher, made my bed, a couple things before leaving. Um, we are going to go for a walk. Like I've said a thousand times, I am so excited. I think I'm gonna stop by uh, Bloomingdale's on my way because Margot got me a Barefoot Dreams robe that I'm literally so excited to live in every day. Like I might quite literally bring it home for Christmas too. 
and she didn't know what size to get and she gave me a small and it fits but i just kind of would like it a little bit more cozy ish so she gave me the receipt so I'm gonna see if they have one in store. If not, I'll like order it ahead. I wanna get some cash for some people that work for my apartment building to give them those little Christmas gifts and a card. So I need to get some cards. Um, I am headed also, I keep saying I'm like going to get a gift card. I'm going to air ancient baths. Um, I guess I can say this now because we're gonna give it to her tomorrow and you guys will already be watching this. Emma, who's our amazing graphic designer, creative director, everything for Gals on the Go. We want to give her a gift of going to air ancient baths, like get a massage and like enjoy the ancient baths. It looks incredible. So I like opted for the option to like pick up this gift card and it comes in like this box and everything. And we're taking her to brunch tomorrow. So we thought it'd be fun for her to open something. So I'm going to do that. I did my Vlogmas thumbnail. We also just sent um, some merch to our other content assistant for Gals on the Go. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing while I'm out. Um, the Ancient Baths place is in Tribeca, so it's a bit of a walk, so I think I'm gonna stop by the Bloomingdale's in Soho first, because it's on the way. I think it's on the way. I don't really know, like, geography in New York City yet. Like, I'm still learning, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know, whatever. Let's go for a walk, come on. relaxation I got the gift card I'm in Tribeca I love it over here oh my gosh so peaceful though I like walked in and obviously spa lobbies in general are so relaxing but like a wave of relaxation hit me they were playing this like yoga meditation music my mom used to play as a child and so it's like ingrained in my brain and there was fountains got like literally just sitting in the lobby waiting for them to prepare this pro tip go to spa lobbies do it <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna walk all the way back now, I think. It's so, so nice out, not cold at all, and it's good to get outside and get moving. Okay, so I am obsessed with Le Pan Quaridan LPQ, um, so I'm gonna stop there and have a little main character moment and order some soup and eat alone. I'm very excited. back now it's getting dark it's like raining a little bit but we're pushing through i stopped by juice press and i got a little ginger shot should i take it on the go okay icons only doing this wow i'm really doing this cheers That feels great. Here are a couple things I got today. Um, when I went, I went, stopped by Dwayne Reed, I need more paper towels. And I forgot that a lot of you guys had suggested I try this L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. Cause I was talking about how I've had trouble with mascara transferring to my lower lid. And if you guys had any advice or mascara you liked, and so many of you responded with this cause it has the um, primer and then the actual mascara. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. I got some of these hair ties just cause they're a little bit more um, sleek and slick for like doing buns and stuff. I love like, you know, the bigger scrunchies, but this one is just, these are, you know, supposed to be very, very comfortable too. The most comfortable elastics ever. And then from the store called The Modern Chemist, I've talked about it before, it's in the Lower East Side. I love it. It's kind of like a paper store store. I got these cards. Um, this says, be merry and bright. And it's got a little taxi with the Christmas tree on top, very on brand for me. Um, and I got it to, cause I stopped at the ATM as well. I got these to give to people that work in my building. I got them cash. So yeah. Oh, it's rifle paper company. Of course. That's why I love it. Lisa Goslin sent me some beautiful jewelry. I love her stuff. She sent me another one of her famous smiley face bracelets and this one to pair with. It looks so cute on. And then I believe this is a necklace, which is so beautiful for the holidays, especially layered with other ones. So I'm excited to try that. And then I'm pretty sure it's like a sweat hairband and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Suddenly I want to go play tennis. <laughs> and then I made an order on Revolve. 
as I do a lot because I'm obsessed. Um, I got these boots. I featured these in my Revolve winter favorites like list that I will link below because I favorited a ton of things that I either have purchased, want to purchase, or just love and think would be great for winter. I saw these Steve Madden boots and I just love them. I think they're going to be so comfortable because of this awesome platform. I liked how these were super slim, but you can they like go up your leg a little bit more. So you could wear these under jeans or with like some faux leather leggings would be really cute or with a dress. I am so excited. I hope they don't look whack on me, but... I will link them below for you guys. I am so obsessed with my boar bristle brush that I got on Amazon and I heard that this was kind of like the step up from that. I heard this is amazing, but I wanted to try the other one first to see if I like it and I use it all the time. So I'm really excited to brush my hair with this. This one also like has like spikier bristles as well as the soft ones. So I'm excited to try this a lot from the brand Rain Cry. I think this was also on my favorite list. This is the Fiorucci, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, green logo scarf. I love it. It's like, um, I don't know if this is like a faux leather material, maybe actual leather sewn into this green scarf. It's just like a green chunky scarf. I think it's going to look great. I am obsessed with lip balms right now, so I'm trying three different ones. Trying the Malin and Goetz, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, Goetz. Mojito lip balm. I just put it on. It feels really great. This Summer Fridays lip butter balm sounded delightful. And then I've heard good things also about this, which is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss lip butter. So I don't know. During the winter, I find myself using lip balm a lot more. I'm sure you guys too. So just want to show you guys some of my recent purchases. Currently listening to the Polar Express soundtrack. It's so magical and it's just so glowy in my apartment right now. I'm about to start getting ready for this event and I'm just enjoying some time alone. I guess today's kind of just been a solo day in general, but my favorite song is Believe by Josh Groban. I always listen to it on Christmas Eve. Okay, I just got ready for this Hoka event, Hoka sneakers. I have a pair and I think we're getting another pair tonight, like customized, which I'm really excited about. Um, I tried something different with my hair tonight. I mean, not that different, but the way I used the Dyson Airwrap, I took the curling barrels and instead of curling um, in like I, or, I, no, I still curled out, but instead of taking the whole piece of hair and wrapping it around like a slick curl, slick curl, a tight curl, I, oh my gosh, my concealer, the lighting, not great. Um, I just like took the end and kind of um, blew it out with the Dyson Airwrap, so it kind of just has this more natural blowout look, which I really like. I didn't want to dress too, too much up because it's like a sneaker event and it's Hoka sneakers, which are our athletic sneakers. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I got the vibes right, but Brooke's wearing something kind of similar. This is like my uniform these days. It's just this black crop top from Verge Girl. My blazer is from the brand Lioness. Jeans are the Agolde jeans I was wearing earlier. White Air Force Ones. And then my Stodd um, white moon bag. So I'm really excited to check this event out, see what's up. And then when we get back home tonight, you guys, we are conquering what that mess is. Gotta blow out the candles. <sighs> Okay, so we're getting our sneakers customized and yes. Eli's getting her like username, the jar, on her sneakers. So I was like, Brooke, should we get on the go? If she can do that, I don't know though. It fit that many words? Yeah, I don't know. Or letter characters? I think that actually yes, because jars only a few more. Oh, that's true. I'm excited. Updates to come. I'm doing white on the go. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. White? Yeah. Just got back from the event. It was really great. We got to get a pair of Hoka sneakers, which was awesome. I have a pair already and I'm obsessed. And we got on the go on it because we wanted to be like on brand for gals on the go. I could have gotten Danielle, but why not get on the go? So fun. I'm just feeling so grateful right now and just so blessed that I get to do something like this and that you guys actually want to watch. <laughs> um, and I'm like, I've been like putting off um, ending today's vlog because. That means it's the end of Vlogmas, and I'm so sad, but all good things come to an end. <laughs> um, and I will still be posting videos, obviously. For the rest of the night, I am going to just clean my apartment. And I could do the whole cleaning montage, but you guys have seen it before. And I'm going to be up pretty late doing this, and then I'd be focused on, like, getting the tripod and everything. And I just, like, 
I need to like literally clean my apartment. Like I need to put things away. I need to kind of just have a me night. Um, I think for dinner, I'm just gonna make some, I have rice from last night that Ryan and I ended up making and black beans and broccoli. You guys know it's like my favorite and just enjoy the night. And then I'm here tomorrow, the next day, and then Saturday I'm flying back home to Tampa. I think this Sunday's video is gonna be an unedited day in my life because a lot of you requested that I do an unedited day in my life. So I'm gonna film that on Friday. So you guys will be set to go for a very long video this coming Sunday. And then I'll vlog while I'm at home. So thank you guys all so much for following me along this vlogmas journey. I have had so much fun and I'm just so happy that you guys enjoyed watching it. I had a lot of fun creating content for it and just thinking about things in a different way. Um, for my videos and I'm really really thankful to my video editor Jordan because she really brought my vision to life and Thanks to Gabby Whiten for helping me with my intro. She's literally the best. I saw her in an event recently and I was like, I love you um, So she's awesome if you guys need any sort of help in like graphic design or animation She's your gal also, she creates her own content. She has a YouTube channel. I love her vlogs. She has a TikTok. She does it all. So those are two very important people to me. And yeah, I guess that wraps up this vlogmas. Can't believe it. But again, I'll be filming this Friday. And I think this Friday, Ryan and I are going to exchange Christmas gifts. So I'll put that um, in that vlog. And you'll still get a little bit more New York City content. And I'm only going home for 10 days. So... I love you all so much. Oh, I literally don't want to end this. Like, that means it's over and I just can't. Ugh. Thank you all so much for continuing to support me every day. I love you all so much. Happy, happy holidays. Stay safe, stay healthy, and follow me on all the other platforms if you want more of me every day. I post almost every day on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn and on Instagram and all my stories at Danielle Carolyn. Anyways, I'm going to end this actually now, but again, thank you all so much. Subscribe if you want to be notified every time I post a video, and I will see you guys on Sunday for my next video. Bye, Vlogmas. Love you.